All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth and sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And as always, I would like to give double honors to our apostles and elders, the great millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashom Yahweh Shai. And welcome to another series of In Transit, being brought to you by the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashom Yahweh Shai. This video. It's going to be a follow-up to that that Trinity doctrine and really I just wanted to use one scripture because as it is written which this is another good scripture to use to cut that you know to to cut that Yahweh Shai and the father are, are, are the same beings well this scripture cuts that there is one mediator between men and God. God is who the world ignorantly calls. No, God is, is, is Yahweh, who the world calls the Heavenly Father, who's also known as the Almighty. His name is Yahweh. Okay. Now, the scriptures say there is one mediator between men and and Yahweh. So, um, Volk had a uh, question for you, you silly Christians. And, and, um, Volk had Malone. If Yahweh Shai is the father, then who is the mediator? If, if Yahweh Shai is the father, then who is the mediator between men and God? Because there has to be a mediator, right? We cannot just directly go to the Heavenly Father when we pray. There has to be a mediator to relate our message to the Heavenly Father. So if Yahweh Shai and the Heavenly Father are, 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 are one, if they are one, right, then, then who's the mediator? Who's the mediator between men and the Most High? And this is a, a question that I bet none of you, you wacky tacky Christians will answer. You're not gonna answer the question because if you do, then you're gonna have to say that it's Yahweh Shai. So then you're gonna have to ask that who is God? If Yahweh Shai is not the most high, then who's the most high? His name is Yahweh. You know, just another scripture that can be used to cut that, that you know, Yahweh Shai and, and God, that they, they, they are the same entities. They are the same being. No, no. The Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and Yahweh Shah is the son of who the world calls Jesus. Okay, furthermore, in the book of Revelation, did not Yahweh Shah say that he is the Alpha and the Omega? The Alpha represents the beginning. The Omega represents the end. So Yahweh Shah was indicating that he has a beginning and an end. Don't you know that Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, is known as the Ancient of Days? The reason why he's called the Ancient of Days is because he has no beginning nor an end. But anyways, just another scripture that can that you can use to easily cut that that um you know 
Yahweh and Yahawashai are the same beings. No, they're not. Okay. There is one mediator between men and the Most High Yahweh. And who's that guy? The man, Yahawashai. So with that, I'm going to say, Shalom. So on to the next one.